Hello, everyone. I am so happy to be here today celebrating the incredible life and legacy of Senator Robert J. Dole. I also want to thank Audrey for the opportunity to be here, Governor Robin Dole, to be able to be with you, and Senator Elizabeth Dole, we miss you today. My name is Dr. Julianne Mazachek, and I am the president of Washburn University in Topeka, Kansas, and we are enormously proud to be Senator Dole's alma mater. He earned both his bachelor's and law degrees from Washburn in 1952. And just yesterday, we officially opened our brand new home for the Washburn University School of Law, a magnificent new building many years in the making. When we cut the ribbon on this new home for our law school, we named it Robert J. Dole Hall, after our most famous son. <laughs> Senator Dole was a frequent visitor to Washburn over the years. We are home to the Senator Robert J. Dole Law Professorship, the Robert J. Dole Center for Law and Government, and the Honorable Robert J. Dole Scholarship for Law Students with Disabilities. And he has been, as you might imagine, a recipient of nearly every honor and commendation a university can bestow on an alumnus. So over the years, I have had the deep privilege of being there as Senator Dole returned to our campus and as he met with students, which he loved to do. I listened as he imparted words of wisdom on young men and women who were aspiring towards careers in law and public service. Like Senator Dole himself, his advice was unpretentious and to the point. He always, always told them to do these three things, work hard, help others, and never forget where you came from. When Senator Dole came to us at Washburn, he was not your typical college student. He had started his undergraduate studies at KU in the fall of 1941, but before he completed them, World War II interrupted his and everyone's plans. When he returned from his heroic service in Italy, he came back with two Purple Hearts, a Bronze Star, and injuries that left him disabled for life. It took him years to recover, during which time he married, had a wonderful daughter, Robin, and thought long and hard about what path he wanted to pursue. Ultimately, he decided he wanted to get a law degree and enter public service. Now keep in mind, he was not your average 18-year-old right out of high school. Like a lot of our students, he came from a small town in Kansas, Russell. He was a transfer student and was nearly 30 years of age, a GI Bill veteran, married with a family, what you today call a non-traditional student. And he was learning to live with a disability. In those days, of course, there was no American with Disabilities Act. According to Senator Dole, Washburn was not the only law school he applied to. But when he approached other places and told them that he might need some accommodations for his disability, he was told that they weren't sure that they could help him. But when he approached Washburn, he was told that if he was willing to work hard, we were willing to figure it out and work with him. And the rest is now history. Suffice it to say, this was one of the best decisions Washburn ever made. And of course, Senator Dole went on to work hard and help others, doing so much for veterans, for students, for Kansans, and for disabled Americans. He never forgot where he came from. I thought of that story yesterday as we opened our new law school building with his name proudly displayed over its entrance. Senator Dole represents so much of what we hope our students or any students will strive to be. Hardworking, selfless, passionate about giving voice to the voiceless, and committed to working with others to achieve common goals and dreams. Those are values we hold dear at Washburn and Washburn Law. They are values we hold dear in the state of Kansas. Values we could use, all, all of us could use more of, and they are values that were exemplified by Senator Dole's life and his career. So yesterday, when we showed off our sign saying Robert J. Dole Hall, it was really just another way of saying to all the law students and any student and aspiring public servants who will follow in Senator Dole's footsteps, work hard, help others, never forget where you came from. Thank you.